And we're back on the canals. But remember that the speed limit here is slower, so uh, yeah. Don't go tear arsing off like I did do on the rivers. All of it's going to be four miles an hour on the river. Yeah, we're back. I think at the moment it's mixed feelings. Um, I'm pleased to be back. I'm pleased to be off the rivers for the winter. Um, I have actually met people going down onto the river at this time of year. And they do advise that you are off the river by the end of September. So, yeah. It's good to be back, I think. So, I'm going to... If there's space on the quay, I'm going to stop and top up the water. Um, I've not got much rubbish, so I might leave that until the next services, the next facilities stop. But I'll top up with water anyway, at least drinking water. Um, because what I want to do before Blissworth Tunnel is find a nice little spot where I can stop sort of regather my thoughts I suppose, um, get the boat all tickety-boo again, the stern gland grease to fill up, uh, I have checked the oil and everything else recently so that's all okay, I know that's good, uh, but just generally smarten the thing up, tidy it up, uh, and then uh, I've got some editing to do, long overdue, um, I'm still trying to get sorted with the, the history of the um, sort of Fenland waterways which is turning into a, a bit of a major operation but we'll get that done and get that posted. So then, welcome back to the channel and uh, if you're new here, my name's Martin. And on this channel, I'm sharing some of my experiences of what I get up to now that I've retired. Well, as you have gathered, I'm now off the uh, East of England rivers and back on the canal. So, uh, enjoy. albeit I didn't really need any water but it was an excuse to make a cup of tea cheers um, and now I'm leaving the service area and within a few seconds I shall be on uncharted waters 
So I'm still on the Grand Union Canal, but now I've decided I'm going to migrate south for the winter. All the birds are doing it, so why not me? Uh, and I'm going to head south on the Grand Union Canal. As I say, I'm not uh, going to go far. Just um, find somewhere to moor up and then sort myself out. Okay, in a bit. Two, two, two days, days later. later. Good morning. Uh, it's a bit overcast today, a bit grey, but I'm not going very far today. Um, I'm just leaving my moorings just below Blissworth Village. Uh, and uh, in about 15 minutes time, I shall be entering uh, Blissworth Tunnel, which is almost three kilometres long. So it's a big one. Uh, I've got the waterproof ready just in case it's 
wet in there. I mean, it will be wet because there's a canal, but uh, often a lot of these tunnels they drip and pour water, so I just want to be prepared for that. Um, which might mean I've got to put the phone away if it's too wet. Um, and then the other side of the tunnel I get to Stoke Bruin, uh, which is apparently a really attractive village. Um, I've got to get rid of some rubbish there and then I shall look for somewhere to moor up. I'm not in any great rush now. Um, in about 10 days I've got to catch the train home. Um, I've got to a doctor's appointment for a repeat prescription um, or a checkup so I can get a repeat prescription. Um, and I may bring the car back to the boat just to check on it and maybe do a little bit of work. But then I'm going back home because uh, I've got tickets for the Battle of Britain Memorial flight um, Members Day. Uh, I've been a member for a few years now and they do a special day at the end of their flying season for members so uh, I should be going along to that. Okay, in a bit. Blissworth Mill was built in 1879. For the first 40 years of its existence, it was a steam corn mill. Following that, its uses get a little bit sketchy, uh, but it is known that it was used by the co-op, and in the Second World War, it was used as, as an emergency food storage depot. Again, after that, things get a little bit sketchy, but leading up to year 2000, it was converted into apartments. And I hope you agree, uh, it's a great use of an old heritage site. You're waiting for the all clear. Oh, right. Sorry? Oh, I'm in no rush. Okay, thank you. Oh, you can go both ways in here. Yeah. As long as they're not too wide. <laughs> yeah. Now they usually give notification emails anyway, if it's a wide one. Quite chilly in here this morning and dark. Woo! It's quite peculiar because it's misty in here. I suppose the deeper we get and the cooler it gets, and the water being relatively warmer, uh, it's not surprising, but I hadn't expected that. I've also just discovered. There's a kink in the tunnel. I can see a white spot in front of me, which I thought was a boat coming towards me. But when I look back, I can't see the entrance portal. 
So I think we must have gone round the bend. I did nearly clout out the side, which might indicate that the tunnel has changed direction and I didn't see it coming. Well, you can't see anything in here, so... But, uh, yeah, I think... I'm not sure now whether that is a boat coming towards me or a portal. And here's another... Uh, oh God, it's soaking here. Got my hand over the phone, so hopefully it doesn't get messed up. halfway to go and interestingly the mist has cleared um, it must be warmer down this end than it was at the other end I suppose we are going south it'd be positively tropical by the time we get out of the portal there's another mister on ahead so uh, let's hope the camera doesn't get wet there I'm expecting the sun to be shining the band to be playing somebody with a hot chocolate because I'm a bit chilly well my hands are cold anyway very deceptive it looks very close but there's another marker we're about to go by which says I don't think you can see that Still 200 metres. The Blissworth is the third longest tunnel on the system. So, Harecastle I think is the longest and that's up in I want to say Lancashire, but it might be Yorkshire. Um, and I can't think of the second longest. It begins with an S, I think, and I can't remember its name. Anyway, we've ticked off the third longest. But it'll be a while before we do the other two, because they're up, way up north. with tunnel done and dusted
Uh, we've got moored up. Got a mooring just south of Stoke Bruin through the first lock. Um, got some nice solar. Looks as if the internet's okay. So I think I shall stay here for, well, at least tomorrow. The next couple of days are not very good weather wise, so I might stay till tomorrow and uh, perhaps do a bit of editing. So why Roses and Castles? Well, no one knows exactly where the Roses and Castle movement originated. There are obvious links with the travelling culture for their elaborate painted caravans, but historians have also identified similarities uh, with folk art from Germany and the Netherlands and maybe as far afield as Asia. Okay then, well I think I'll wrap this one up here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and Stoke Bruin is an attractive village. And if you happen to be visiting, pop into the museum. It's fascinating. Two nice pubs, and a great Indian takeaway. What could be better? Okay then, well uh, if you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, if you want to know what I'm up to next, then click on the notification bell, and YouTube will let you know when I post the next one. And uh, if you think I deserve it, uh, give us a thumbs up. Okay, until next time, see ya!